Listen, man, I hate these titles just as much as you do, but you keep clicking them. Want tech news in a way that doesn't suck? Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications or else. Yep, I'm just threatening you now. Okay, all right, I get it. First, hi, welcome to the show. Listen, I read all your comments. I saw the comments. On the last episode, we talked about a report from the website Reuters, but your boy was pronouncing Reuters like this. And obviously, a report like this coming from Reuters caused a bit of a shakeup, and you all let me know that I f***ed it up, <laughs> that I said it wrong. So thank you, thank you very much. I get it. It's Reuters, not Reuters. You know, the funny thing is, every time I mention that website on the show, I say it wrong, I say Reuters, you correct me, and I always forget. But this time I will not. This time I will remember, it's Reuters, not Reuters. What do you want from me? Okay, I didn't go to college. I was doing YouTube. This is what, I don't see you up here doing this sh All right, I'm gonna explain myself to you. Welcome to the show, Front Page Tech, the show that gives you all this tech news, one geek that is me to another that is you. Let's do the news. All right, so first up for the day, first news story of the day, story numero uno. Let's start off the show with a little bit of fun, shall we? You might be wondering, uh, what were the most popular phones over the Christmas holiday season? Day, days. Uh, what? A brand new report has come out from Flurry Analytics, giving us a list of the top 10 most activated phones on Christmas Day. Let's run down that list, shall we? In first place, the most popular, most activated phone on Christmas Day was the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not true. It was that wasn't it. It was the iPhone 11. Okay, but for real, in second place we have the OnePlus 8 Pro. <laughs> that was <laughs> I got you again. I got you again, didn't I? The real second place was the iPhone 10R. In fact, all of the top 10 most activated phones on Christmas Day were iPhones. Oh, wait. Except Except for this one. In last place is the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Just kidding. It didn't make the list at all. In last place was actually the LG K30. The f is a K30? Oh, uh, this thing. Okay. Yep, that's right. In terms of all new phones activated in the United States on Christmas Day, nine out of ten of them were iPhones. Pretty crazy, right? And you want to know the best part? The best part about this whole thing will be the comment section below this video. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Go ahead, take a look. Scroll down a little bit. Take a look at those comments. That'll be the best part. In fact, the comment section under today's episode shall hereby be named the Angry Fandroid Carnival of Sadness and Pity. Where's my Poco phone? Where's the Huawei P90X? Christmas is rigged just like the election. Well, I hope everyone who bought an iPhone gets it stuck in their butt and dies. In fact, you know what? I don't know if any YouTube video has ever done this before, but I'm actually going to give you a little bit of a break in this episode right now just to go ahead and scroll through those comments. Enjoy. All right, all right, that's enough. Come back up here. Did you do the thing? <laughs> we have fun here. All right, let's uh, let's move on. All right, so next up, uh, we're first gonna talk about a report that came out about AirPods. We'll cover that report a little bit, and then I'll give you uh, my information after that, following that, after. What's wrong with me today? Okay, so according to this rumor, first of all, I should tell you, this comes from a user named Mr. White on Twitter, which um, does not have the best track record, so. There's that. And along with this user not having the best, oh, look, hey, look, he follows me on Twitter. That, I don't know if that's a good sign. Anyway, along with him not having the best track record, the tweet, in the tweet himself, he doesn't sound like he's too sure. Like he doesn't actually, he did, doesn't seem like he knows. Anyway, he speculates based on this hardware here that goes obviously inside AirPods, um, that we're going to be getting two different size AirPods Pro. Now he believes this because the cables that he has here uh, are two different sizes, so I, I, he just assumed that that means two different sizes AirPods Pro, I guess. Okay, so here's where I want to jump in here. D there's not two different sizes of AirPods Pro, at least from what I know, right? The information I have, no, not two sizes for AirPods Pro. 
what we could be looking at here are different hardware for AirPods 3 and AirPods Pro, which are both going to be a bit different than before. So I've actually been sitting on this information from a source for a while, but I just didn't think it was relevant to share, at least until I got more information. But since we're here, you know what they say. It. So from over a month ago, this is an exact message that I just copied and pasted from a source. By the way, saw a prototype design of the new low price AirPods and AirPods Pro. Both are smaller because it uses a new designed SIP module system in a package from a company that just entered the AirPods supply chain this year. That's all I can tell now. Feel free to share if you like. More details should come around early next year. That's the exact message. And then of course, obviously we went back and forth from there. So here's what I gathered. According to them, the key focus for these new AirPods 3 as well as AirPods Pro is the new system in a package. So the first goal was to get that smaller because then they can actually design the hardware around that. And as of then, the last that I heard was that there wasn't a final design on either of these. So it would be irresponsible for me to show you anything right now, but the second I can, I will. I should hear more by spring-ish. So yes, from what I know, both AirPods 3 and AirPods Pro will be smaller. That's the entire focus of this whole thing. In fact, they went so far as to get a completely different system in a package from a completely different supplier to make this happen. So AirPods Pro will be smaller, not two different sizes, just one size, perhaps without a stem. And then of course we have AirPods 3 coming as well, uh, just we're not two different sizes. Does that help? It doesn't help. Does that help? It doesn't help. All right, so last up for the day, iPhone 13 and again, 120 Hertz. First of all, as you know, we hoped that it was coming to iPhone 12, just didn't make it last minute. In fact, when iPhone 12 made it into mass production, I broke the news, sadly, that 120 Hertz didn't make mass production with it. But have no fear, the key focus for iPhone 13 in 2021, or whatever they call it, will be that display, 120 Hertz display. We've had all sorts of reports, of course, on this show, you've heard me say over and over again, that it is coming because, you know, of course it is, but because everyone is excited about it, because everyone wants it, how about a brand new report that has come out to just add some more substance to that. Mac Rumors has actually put together a great report that sort of puts everything into perspective, gives context to absolutely everything regarding the displays for iPhone 13. In fact, I really don't ever do this usually, but I'm gonna leave a link to that article down in the description. If this is something that you really care about, go ahead and click it and read more. It's a full rundown of every report that has stated that 120 Hertz is coming to iPhone 13, at least iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max. From the report from Ross Young, who is an incredible source when it comes to display panels, and really not just for Apple, but for every manufacturer, all the way down to the report from the Alec saying that the iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max will use more technologically sophisticated OLED displays with low power LTPO technology. Obviously, LTPO is the same technology that's in Apple Watch. I mean, if you really think about it, there's more weight this early on right now when it comes to 120 hertz coming to iPhone 13 than I think we ever had or ever saw with 120 hertz iPhone 12 all year long, when all of those rumors, as much as we speculated about it, there's more concrete information now this early on. So if this is something that you really like, that you really hope for, and that you're really excited for, iPhone 13, that's your phone. Get, get, get excited, get your peenies ready. Ooh, can I even say, can I even say that on YouTube? Uh... You know what's really cool about deals? You get money off. But what's better than getting money off? How about getting money off from the money off? Our sponsor, WeVPN, is still running their Christmas deal, giving you 62% off plus one month free, breaking down to just three bucks a month. And if you check out using the promo code FPT, you'll even get money off of the money off. Save an extra 10% just for being an FPT viewer. Protect yourself online, keep yourself secure across all of your devices, stream and access media from anywhere. Also, it's the fastest VPN I have ever used. So even if you already are using a VPN, it's time to make the switch. Click the link down in the description below to get WeVPN with a Christmas deal with an extra 
10% off. All right, that's it. That's the show. Hopefully you liked it. You learned something. If you did, hit the like button. If you hate my stupid face, the dislike button. That works too. If you're new here, subscribe, and I'll see you guys and girls next year. <laughs> Get it? Because it's the end of 20... Okay.